for joining me. I'm your host, Joy Morris. This is a show built for you, the fans. Touchdown Alabama is a show about the top ten of all things Alabama football. Each week, I will be bringing you the most popular topics on our favorite team. So be sure to watch every Friday. Now let's get started. Today's show is on the top 10 most memorable games. These are the games that made you remember the name, Alabama. So here we go. I'm counting you down from number 10. At number 10, the 1926 Rose Bowl game, Alabama vs. Washington, a day never forgotten by Alabama fans. Allison Hubbard, better known as Pooley, hits Brown on a dead run for a touchdown. The Tide walks away with a 20-19 win. At number nine, this memorable moment includes a legend. In 1935, it was Alabama versus Tennessee. Paul Bryant, a.k.a. Bear Bryant, with a fractured bone in his leg, sets up two touchdowns in the first half, ending with a devastating block that sprang Dixie Howell, the Alabama quarterback, around his end for another score. Shortly after, Bear Bryant was head coach of Alabama. His name is a name of respect and a name never to be forgotten. At number 8, 1935 Rolls Bowl game, Alabama vs. Stanford, Millard Howard, a.k.a. Dixie, proved to be a triple threat in this game. He helped Alabama bring home its fourth national title and helped with establishing Alabama as one of the nation's premier football programs. At number 7, the 1954 Cotton Bowl, Alabama vs. Rice, Tommy Lewis will be remembered when he jumped from the bench and tackled running back Dickie Mogul for no reason. When asked why he did this, he responded with, I guess I was just so full of Alabama. At number six, remembered for its first televised night game in 1969, Alabama vs. Ole Miss, Scott Hunter completed a 14-yard touchdown pass to George Raniger and won the game at 33-32. So you just watched some really memorable moments. You see, I meant what I said when I told you that Alabama has worked really hard to make a name for themselves. So let me show you even more memorable games. So here we are at number five. At number five, this game is known for the run in the mud. Because of the mud and the slippery ball, both teams had not scored. Snake Stabler had slithered his way through to get to the outside, racing down the sidelines for the score. This one moment changed the game. Alabama won 7-3. At number four, this spot goes to the Sugar Bowl game, Alabama vs. Miami. Miami player Lamar Thomas had been boasting to press about Alabama not being able to take them on, only to be beat by Alabama 34-13. Number three goes to 2005 Southern Miss game. Brody Croyle heaved a 42-yard pass into tight coverage, so tight that Prother had to reach around to catch the ball on the defender's own back, instantly making this an Alabama memorable moment. The number two spot goes to 2009 National Championship game, Alabama vs. Texas. It's the first ever victory over the Longhorns, but it was the first national championship since 1992. Not only had Coach Saban broken the slump, he had beaten a team that no tight coach before him could. You've watched and you've anticipated the number one spot. Who could it be? Well, I won't keep you guessing any longer. The number one spot goes to... The number one spot goes to 1979 Alabama vs. Penn State. Barry Krause at fourth and goal play was sure Joe Paul would complete a run. Leaping for the hole, planning and pushing with his legs, he holds his position and is then pushed over, causing a nerve to be pinched and his arm to go numb. Standing to the top, he made this play one to never be forgotten. Famously named the goal line stand. See, Alabama knows how to bring it to the table. I hope you enjoyed the show today. I will discuss a different topic every Friday, so be sure to check back each week. And make sure to tell your friends to check us out. This will keep our show going for you, the fans. Make sure you check out a clip from next week's show. I will give you a sneak peek into the following week's show. And I will do this at the end of every video every week. So make sure to keep on watching. Thanks again for joining me. From my home team to yours, I'm your host, Joy Morris. You don't want to miss our next show. If you thought you knew a lot about Coach Saban, you may second guess that after seeing Touchdown Alabama's next show. If there's ever a show that you want to record to watch, this would be up there on that list. Saban is a legend in his own right. So come back next Friday and check out all the personal moments that shaped Saban into becoming the legendary coach he is today.